Greetings everyone, and Great here for another h Bars 3 replay. Spawn on the right side is the Red Dutch, we have Klaus117. Spawn on the left side is the Red Ottoman, we have 98 degrees Eth Etherlysian? Eth Ather Etherlysian. I probably butchered that really bad. And also, is that a degree symbol or is that a copyright symbol? Uh, the more I stare, get close to my screen, looks like a degree symbol. Or when it comes to natives on this map, we do have the Huron Sims, which can give you some Huron mantlets. Also, the Kree, which can give you out some Kree trackers and Kree cores de boss. No deck selected, and no deck selected. Oh, looks like there's some livestock on the map. We do have some sheep. They can lead the sheep to glory. Neither side has access to, uh, neither are North American or Native American tribes, so they don't have access to the combo livestock pen or, and farm. Looks like the local doggos being killed off for their treasure of uh, 75 wood. That's where they keep all their sticks that they were given to them by their masters. You monster. The Ottoman has like the deck. Yar Yasni will be one. Villagers, villagers, food, wood, wood, coin, coin, Janissaries, Delis, Advanced Arsenal, a Palace Intrigue, Wood Coin, Janissaries, Sabahi, Cavalry Archers, Cavalry Combat, Obus Guns, Falcon Nuts, Moss Constructions, I Edition Mamluks, Sabahis, Great Bombards, Factory Factory. Feels like I've seen that deck before. And over here we got Bank Co. Merchants Bank Bank, Dutch East India Trading Company, Villagers Woodwood wood Coin, High Command Infantry Attack, Team Infantry Hit Points, Advanced Arsenal, Religious Freedoms, Higher Irish Brigadiers, Wood Coin, Skirmishers, Infantry Combat, Hussars, uh, Routiers, Cavalry Combat, Heavy Cannons, Tool of Speculation, Factory Factory. A melee going for Dutch East India Company, which gives his banks plus 100% wood points, hit points, and also makes them cheaper. He's going for the Quartermaster, while his opponent's going for the much more unique, the Quartermaster. Honestly, I just realized something. Moose, moose are really, really big. So the sizes between the villagers and the moose is actually about accurate. Moose are actually classified as megafauna, similar to elephants. They're also one of the most dangerous animals in North America. Do not mess with moose. They are highly territorial, and their tank on they are much more aggressive than I think even bison. Wonder what's heavier. It wouldn't surprise me, bison are big, but it wouldn't surprise me if moose are technically heavier. I, I need to look that up. How heavy is the average bison? How heavy, heavy is the average moose? Probably bison. We do not have a barracks now being pulled on the front line. That's definitely uh, not a uh, that's definitely a custom name I believe because it has a fancy S there. Yes, in. Yesin, Yesin, he's, this name is, I don't know how to say it bad, special to him, let's just leave it at that.
wood is now obtained from the bandits. They were, they were collecting up all those sticks to throw to the local doggos. And now we've got some polar bears. They're just being quite unbearable. They don't want to give up their porcupine quills. Blue may be able to snag that uh, treasure there. And now the bear is pushed forward. The bear has been released. Both players advance the next age. We got 275 health versus 165. Looks like Red is losing out. We got a single Janissary to tip the scales in favor of Blue. Red right now has no military backup. Going for a shipment of wood, not a shipment of pikemen. And the Dutch explorers are seeing more fire there. Takes off the bear and will steal all that experience. Janissary, if you walked a little bit farther forward, could have finished off the explorer. Now we got six Janissaries to pull out the field. He's going for barracks now as well as a stable. Probably a good idea not to really deploy out much from stable against Janissaries, being a musketeer variant. Does get inside the town center now. Hunting doggos not being brought on in as well as more Janissaries. I was going to start torching down this trading post. We got a number of delis here. Going for some hazards. Huz against uh, hazards, they will do 30 damage, which is the same damage as hazards. So, technically, hazards will win a 1v1. Won't be a great comp uh, fight, though. And Hazards have range resist, not melee resist, while heavy infantry do have melee resist as well. And a 1v1, the Hazards do have more health, so they will win, but the problem is they are much more expensive in a 1v1. 200 resources as opposed to what? Janissaries 120? Uh, 115. Does take out the local doggo there. Janissaries push for four, trying to torch down the stable now. Hazar is making the way forward. Got no barracks. That was a mark in other barracks. Saw the Janissaries been blowing field. Probably should have realized it was a really bad idea. He's trying to bring up the town militia now with another wave of Hazars being poured on out. There's Hazars there, which can finish off the delis. Running away with the delis, so all the Janissaries get some free damage on in. Delis have gone down. Janissaries still here in good numbers, getting some good damage on the Hazars. Even takes out a villager or two in the mix of it. Blue will be cleaned on up, but it was not a great Hazard. victory there by Red. The number of the Hazars are quite wounded. Starting an eye for counterattack. His opponent right now is going for age three, going for the Exile Prince. His opponent is going to be a bit far away from age up. Has two shipments available. Has enough coin for the higher Irish Brigadiers. And he's going straight for a whole bunch of coin here. Not sure what he's eyeing. The Ottoman player has now advanced to the next age. He's at 20 villagers, so he's going to need to eye the increased villager cap relatively soon. Because right now the max out at 25. Okay, I've got the Janus series torch down. Wait, why is there Dutch banks there? I know they have a lot of extra health, but still, that's not a good spot for Dutch banks inside your opponent's base area. Yeah. Hello. 
it will take quite a bit of time to torch these guys down. Their kill bounty is quite significant. More gentry has been pulled on the field. Maybe we should go for some A zaps as well. He is now going for a shimmer of cavalry archers, which will be useful. They do have 15 damage times 3 multipliers, so they're a great counter unit against the heavy cav of the Huzzars. And they do also have a 1.5 attack speed as well, so they are have really high attack speed. Going for the increased villager production now, very good. It does have a bit of time before he needs it, but it's a good idea to get it now. Before you forget. Now we've got age three for the Dutch, who's also going for the Exile Prince. Bring in that round of skirmishers, which will be useful versus the Janissaries. Bank us down. Pretty close to getting our shipment. He's going for some falcon nuts as well. Oh, got Huzzars over here. I'm not sure where the Cavalry Archers may be at the moment. There they are. Now going for the veteran Janissaries. Cavalry okay, Archers need to protect his villagers. Militia push our way over here. Off in that shipment. Complete. Now got a skirmisher shipment as well as more skirmishers on the field as well as some root here. So going for some A zaps wouldn't be half bad. If someone's just going for root here, skirmishers, falcon at A zap would be good. And falcon to make short work of these structures. Janissaries right now have 30 siege damage, which is quite nice. Now his barracks is getting hit. The Alvin player may want to get some wood to get out some other sources of Janissaries and other things that sort. Taking out the banks is worthwhile. So let's go and turn around and start engaging the units you know, are engaging his barracks. The barracks is pretty wounded. These units don't really have good siege damage. Root here have seven, militia have five, skirmishers have fourteen, and the Hazars have a more respectable twenty. Red is get forced him back. He's gonna need to repair out the barracks. He does still require it. He doesn't have any wood income at the moment. And currently he's not deploying out anything. He's aiming for an H4, it looks like. Unless he's going to go for the Sapahi shipment. Ah, he's going for Sapahi. Some heavy cab. Explorer will go down to the Cavalry Archers. And looks like he's going to be finished off the rest of these banks. This bank may have been repaired on up. Routier will be able to counter the Spahi. We're seeing quite a bit of fire there. Routier getting engaged. Routier here in good numbers. Block the spot. He can push away for it, but it's starting to cleave the Routier. Routier being cleaved on through, but two spot here down. Genesis push away for it. Falcon does get a good volley there on the skirmishers. And the last of the Routier is going down. Spot he pushing away for They'll be able to rip apart these skirmishers, no problem. And Genesis is trying to engage in melee as well. 
Cursors have their mid attack will be at 14 versus heavy. Cursors have a mid attack of 18, and they do have melee resist as well. But still, probably just better to shoot their gun. Falconets having trouble maintaining engagements while he charges way forward. And Rukiri does get a good volley there. Militia does go down there, and while he goes down. Falconets push way forward, just fall back now. And the Falcons did not get a volley there. Probably a good idea to regroup the cannon. The cannon right now doing 100 damage times 3 for uh, infantry, so they will annihilate skirmishers no problem. But here, will take significant damage though. And I got a higher Egyptian Mamelukes, which are like a thousand health hazards. Barracks has been repaired on up. And the Dutch right now is going for more Hazars, going for a shipment of Hazars. One of Janissaries do go down. And now we do have the counter infantry rifling. Goblin does have enough, uh, does have a shipment available. Could probably go with a coin shipment that can perhaps get him close to HL. There's some infrastructure banks going on down. The banks over here have not been rebuilt. Red's army is not pushing forward. Does find the Mamelukes. No, they have more than a thousand health. They're a thousand five hundred health. With good range resist, their damage is average, but having a thousand five hundred health means they can withstand a large amount of abuse. Falconets find some shots down the route here. They're pretty stacked up, so they will take a bit of extra AoE. Mamluks engage in the Hazars. When the Mamluks about to go down, there is the militia. Which do have our offer a little bit of bonus damage is heavy, which they not fighting against. I can not route here here. ASAP I still think is a good item to deploy against the Rutier and versus the Hazards as well. Falconets get a good volley on the skirmishers, giving massive damage onto them. And he's also trying to cut them off. Rutier is now trying to siege down the Falconets. The skirmishers getting annihilated. All the skirmishers now down. It'll be fine just to shoot at the Rutier. They're a little bit too mobile. And he still actually has one Mameluk still alive. Routier running around. He's eyeing for a counterattack. We got some reinforcements here. More reinforcements here. Now I got a shipment of Janissaries, which is a shipment of eight. I got Falcon Nuts being blown out, two of them. And now blue, oh, yeah. there's actually a great opportunity here for our blue. Clark. That is 13 villagers Hello. there. That is a third of his opponent's villagers. Does find the opportunity to hit the falconets immediately. Guns to one them down. The Mamluk does go down there. Skirmish is firing away. Blue's villagers are next to red's villagers. I'm not sure where blue's villagers are going at the moment. More skirmishers, more routiers being blown on the field. I don't think routier at this point in time are significantly great. He is going for some cavalry archers now. Maybe blue should eye for some Nazim Fusiliers. Village was getting hit there. Their uh, Janissaries being over surrounded. 
It does have two barracks and field corn. More Janissaries now has a large amount of resources, so be able to mass produce Janissaries. He may be on trying to age up earlier, but it's not. Going for some delis now. Delis will be useful versus the skirmishers, but not versus the rootier. And does find some blues villagers here. And this is a good number of his villagers. About a third of them, or a fourth of them at least. I was actually finding a good volley there onto the skirmishers. Now we've got the veteran delis now being pulled on the field. Trim of coin being brought on in. to get folks down there. Janissary is pushing forward in large numbers. They'll just make a hit sniffing here. One does get hit or goes down. Some more villagers getting hit as well. Rutier do take a nice volley there. Skirmishers do have good range, so good job migrating them around. They do both have the same movement speed, but using the formations to make them sprint a little bit better. Janissaries are here in good numbers. He is going for the Palace Intrigue. Can't they get him some great bombards in this age? Or that's only age 4 upgrades. Ending. He's spent all of his reserves going for more villager research. He may want to eye for the secondary town center this current right. He's not been producing or cooking any wood recently. But he probably could stand to get some additional wood income. Maybe eye for the secondary town center. He does have an inferior economy at the moment, but he doesn't have to pay for those villagers. We're gonna have Falcon up being deployed on out. More delis in return. Sprinting his skirmishers around. Gets a good damage there. Getting some hits on some other villagers. And looks like most of the villagers are just idle. He has to pull it out a uh, dock. There are four whale deposits, so going any more than 16 fishy boats is probably too many. These villagers getting hit there. Delhi is getting hit as well. They're also pushing these villagers and not going to do good work versus a. Uh, Infantry. Some of the villagers do go down there. His cap is right now at 45, so he's plenty of space for those villagers. Maybe it's something he should go for. Uh, no. I was thinking maybe Obus Guns, but probably not. So, Obus Gun. Uh, A-Zaps maybe it may have been a good composition in this situation. Now going some fishing boats. But he has no real wood in the moment. This one take out some of his housing. He sent a good number of villagers up here to this wood. He has plenty of wood in the back line. How can I push my four off? Good number of root here. Rutier and Skirmishers both have horrendously bad siege attack. More fishing boats not being floated on out. 
And Red just simply has also more economy at the moment. Has 43 villagers. Still has a single bank up here and a sheep over here. I don't think he has actually rebuilt any of his banks, so those are down. But he still has one bank the field and a better amount of villagers. Skirmish is not getting hit there. Using the uh, root here there to help him sprint away. Falconet flying away. And looks like that's the end of the replay. This is Anna Grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.